guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have swatches for you from the Just Add Water collection from the brand KB Shimmer. These are releasing on August 1st, so in the description box I will link the KB Shimmer site, I will link their Instagram page, and then I will link my Instagram page where you can see more swatches of everything from today's video. You might have seen these floating around. They did premiere this collection at the Polish Beauty Expo on July 17th. So spoiler alert, these are floating around and they are stunning. So we do have eight new shades in this collection to look at today and let's go ahead and get started. So first we have Rock the Float and this is described as a bright hot pink nail polish loaded with a shifty shimmer. So here's our first coat of Rock the Float. This one does cover really well here on this first coat. I did get full opacity in two coats. The formula is smooth. I had no running or pulling. You will want top coat. It is going to dry relatively glossy. All of these will, um, but that top coat will help your manicure last as long as possible. The shimmer that's in here is very vibrant. Nothing will dry textured or be difficult to remove. So there are two coats. Next up we have Flip Out and this is described as a bright, almost neon, coral leaning orange nail polish with a shifty shimmer. Here's our first coat of Flip Out. This one is significantly lighter than Rock the Float. I still was able to get full opacity in two coats, but depending on your nail line you might end up needing three on this one. But again this one does have a very smooth, very easy formula to work with. No running, pulling, or staining with anything in this collection and this shimmer is stunning. This is probably my top pick of the collection of two. So there are two coats of Flip Out. Up next we have Let It Slide and this is described as a neon chartreuse squishy kind of jelly crelly polish with a shifty shimmer. Here's our first coat of Let It Slide. This one does have a more jelly-like consistency, but again, a nice formula to work with. No running, pulling, or staining here either. You will want top coat for all of these polishes. It'll help keep your manicure lasting and prevent any kind of chips and breaks and dents um, as much as possible. I did do three coats on this one and still had some patchiness, so do bear that in mind you might end up needing four, but I do stop at three for my videos. The shimmer that's in here stands out really, really nicely. Again, it won't dry textured or be difficult to remove, so there's three coats. Up next we have Dive On In, and this is described as a cool blue curly nail polish with a shifty shimmer. Here's our first coat of Dive On In. This one covers really, really well here on this first coat. Another one that I was able to get full opacity in just two coats. And again, a beautiful, wonderful formula. This is a perfect color for summer in my opinion. I think this shimmer that's in here is absolutely stunning. It's very vibrant, very loud, reminds me of the pool and I love it. So there are two coats of Dive On In. Up next we have Splash Talking and this is described as a bold ultramarine blue nail polish with a shifty shimmer. Here's our first coat of Splash Talking. I had some residual oil on my hands um, so that's what that was but this formula is stunning. Again, very easy to work with and easy to use. Two coats will probably get full opacity for most people. I did do three for my photos um, just because I did have that oil on my hands, so it did make it a little bit uh, more sheer on that first coat. So I did do three. Again, you'll want top coat. Nothing will be difficult to remove or dry textured. Next up we have Meltdown and this is described as a bright fuchsia nail polish with a shifty shimmer. Here's our first coat of Meltdown. This one does cover really really well here on this first coat. I did get full opacity in just two coats and again a beautiful wonderful fantastic formula to work with. The shimmer that's in here stands out really nicely. It definitely reminds me of a 80s kind of thing with this bright pink and then the bluey hue to it. Again, you'll want top coat. Again, removal will be easy. And again, nothing will dry textured. So there are two coats. Up next, we have my favorite color. And this is described as a shifty grape leaning nail polish. And this one also has a shifting shimmer. 
Here's our first coat of my favorite color. This one is a little bit more sheer here on this first coat than the last one that we looked at, but it does still cover it really well. Two to three coats for full opacity on this one. I was happy in two coats, but again, depending on your um, nail line, you might end up needing three. The shimmer that's in here stands out really nicely. You'll want top coat and removals easy. So there are two coats. And lastly for today, we have Kinda Shady, and this is described as a deep black base with a vibrant blue shimmer. And here's probably my top pick of the collection. Here's our first coat of Kinda Shady. This one, it's, it's the least summer polish in this collection, but it glows from within and is absolutely stunning. I got full opacity in two coats. You might end up needing three for this one if you work in super duper thin coats. You'll want top coat, removal will be easy, there will be no texture, and I had no staining, so there's two coats. And guys, that is it. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of these polishes. Let me know if you plan on picking any of them up, and let me know what your favorite was. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more from me, and I will talk to you again next time.